Hello, digital gents. Every year is dubbed, mm. quote, a quote of the year of Linux. With Valve's upcoming devices making 2026 fit that title even more. There's even, oh, there is an issue though. NVIDIA GPUs make up greater than 90% of the consumer GPU market share. For Linux gaining, gaming to get more serious adoption across the consumer space, we will eventually need to see NVIDIA Steam Machine variants. Uh, do you see NVIDIA taking Linux driver development more seriously as it pertains to game support and performance if the upcoming Valves do well in of, of upcoming Valve devices do well in sales? Um, so this comes in the wake also of um, an interesting video that was put out by Steve at Gamers Nexus, Steve and his team rather, uh, where they've they're basically trying to put together a Linux um, benchmarking workflow. And uh, Alex, you watched that video and there were issues, right? Yeah, I mean, there was a couple. The one wonderfully well put together video because it talks about a more holistic experience. I mean, the the bar charts are there, but uh, I was also very happy to see a frame time chart occur a number of times in the video because, yes, you can have numbers of frame rates and even one percent lows, but if you if you see that the one percent lows mean every five frames is a 18 millisecond one, that's a big difference. <laughs> you know, that's why 1% lows actually and 0.01% lows aren't completely accurate to an experience because they don't show the, the frequency necessarily, yeah. uh, which is an important part of it. That's why I love frame time graphs. I always will talk about them. It also talked about a variety of uh, visual issues that I thought were very important and the general experience. Uh, so those are all things that I would love to do if I did a video on Linux. Uh, there, there's, NVIDIA and Linux is a complex topic that I'm not fully, uh, I, I would say I'm not the perfect person to ask. But one thing that I know is that it is a, a work in progress thing. Um, and it's been a long issue specifically for DirectX 12. I would say I would vastly prefer if NVIDIA did all the right things to make Linux much more viable if you had an NVIDIA GPU, just because being ho held hostage to Windows, I don't think is good for them anyway as a company uh, in terms of uh, anything, really. Uh, you, it's good to have diversification, and I don't necessarily know if Microsoft has the, the best aims always for the user here, especially the NVIDIA user. And uh, having the ability for a user to say, you know what? I'm going to install Linux and it's going to be a great experience. That would be excellent. And that is more the case on uh, AMD than it is by NVIDIA. And there's features that just aren't working. Yeah, that's another part. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, th I think the, the, the whole EDID thing part of the uh, video that, uh, that Gamers Nexus did was also very interesting. Basically, there's a lot of things that the driver does under Windows that, will not be necessarily present in the Linux driver. And that's one thing that once again, we need it to be there. I really want it to be there. Um, I, I don't I don't want to make this another Windows complaining hour, but you know, <laughs> I just want, I, I really want a, an OS designed for, for not gaming, but just straightforward computing. Um, and I think Linux is our current best side avenue from the current trajectory of windows yep. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely any thoughts john what about the mac alex well no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i want to be able to buy the pieces and yeah what about the switch myself. 2 alex yeah what about the switch 2 yeah. alex yeah. Pe well, people today were discussing that you hate nintendo why <laughs> really what do they do <laughs> no uh, uh the year of linux yes the, uh yeah. I, I mean, I agree with everything you said, Alex. I don't really have much to add, but NVIDIA not supporting Linux, I think, I mean, to me, it just feels like, like a no-brainer on their part, like in terms of just like distancing themselves further from being locked to a single platform to making consumers happy to broadening their, you know, there's just, there's, there's a lot of just benefits, even if they're not huge benefits, like obviously stuff, all the AI stuff, that's where they're making their big bucks. But I just feel like it doesn't, it's not a bad idea to go further in on the Linux side and mm -hmm. ensure that their graphics cards can actually support the platform properly. Yeah, it does make you wonder just how much more NVIDIA could do if they put the resources into it. I mean, for Switch and Switch 2, they, you know, they created their own low-level graphics right. API. <laughs> You know, right. it's not, the talent isn't there, is it? And 
fundamentally, like the one supporting Linux for games is the largest PC storefront in the world. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Valve is not some small company here. Like they have a ton of influence here. And I'm surprised that NVIDIA is so averse to it. 